In this quick video, we're going to have a look at master a master detail form, where we can have uh, header items, uh, uh, sorry, a header and items, and save that away, uh, as well as the ability to be able to clone or, or save as an existing item. So that's quite useful where you might have a, a previous invoice or a previous set of information that's been submitted off, and you'd like to do it again, but you'd like to select one that you've already done. Uh, load it up and then save it as so that you don't have to input all that information all over again. So it's quite a useful scenario. Uh, in this particular example, we're going to be using a purely um, a K2 smart form environment uh, to go and do that. So no workflow process behind the scenes. Uh, it's quite nice and easy to do it with a workflow process. But let's see how we can do it just purely from a forms uh, point of view. All right. So let me show you the, uh, the way that this actually works. So I can come in here on this little form, uh, create a new item. Let's call this uh, header header one. Just adding all the items in quickly. So I've just sped up the video here a little bit, just so you don't have to uh, watch me type all these things in as slow as I as I type. So I've got those those three items, and what I'm going to do now is hit the create button, which saves my data away, and I have that as a row inside here that I can go and load up. And what I'm going to do is go and create a new one, another one. So if I hit new, you'll see I just get the little create button at the bottom here. Let's call this header two. Okay, so I hit create. That's saved, and now I've got my two at the top here, and if I click on them, I can load them up. Now what you'll notice though, is as I'm clicking through these different items, you can see I've got the list, you know, that's got the two items inside of it. This has got the three items, it's all saved, uh, saved away correctly. But what you'll notice is that when I'm clicking on an existing item, I now have the ability to save that item, so I can come inside here and, and make a change to it, maybe to the header name, I'll, hit, I'll call it header 2.01, and hit save. And you can see I've got 2.01 at the top now. So I can come in here and, and make changes and, and save them away. But now what might need to happen is, is I'd like to have another one of these, which is pretty much exactly the same, maybe with an extra row. And I don't want to have to go in and type out everything all over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this one a header uh, 2.5 as an example. Uh, and what we're going to do is I'm going to go and add a further row. So I'm going to call this header 2.5 item four inside here all right and this time instead of save i'm going to say save as new well, let's add some let's add some rows in here just to give it some nice values so this time i'm going to say save as new and what you can see is i've got a new row in there hit a 2.5 which has got those four items inside here if i go to the previous one it's still as it was before so that was a quick way of, of making a duplicate or cloning uh, this header 2.01, uh, adding a few more items and saving it as a new record that I could maybe submit to a process. Look out for the next video where we'll go behind the scenes and show you how this is all put together.